So, with all the different striking that we have, I have stick switching, which I want to go over. Um, there's a lot of benefits to stick switching. The two that I'll teach today, I will say they are functional, but you will find them in many areas of the intermediate and advanced curriculum, let's say the Mars curriculum. But when I am doing it here, I'm thinking about recovering the ability to use my weapon with the other hand, okay? So if I'm striking, <clears throat> I'm in my fighting stance, I have a grip, whatever your grip might be, there's five different grips. There could be a grip with no puño or butt of the weapon. Then I can have a one inch grip that some people will say, okay, there's a slight puño and I can strike with that. I can do a full one fist, okay? So now there's a full fist on that side. Some arts don't like this much puño. They feel like uh, you're giving up too much here and, and less reach you know, when I'm extending out with the weapon. There is a middle grip and I'll talk about that uh, in a second. And then there's a reverse grip, okay? Why do you have these different grips like the middle and reverse? Maybe I just disarmed the weapon somehow. I had no weapon and I disarmed it and I got it in the, in the middle grip. I may have to fight with it a little bit here first or I did it in reverse grip. I can still fight and strike, okay? Or even hit with the, the it's the tip of the weapon when it's facing this way, but really it's a short, Shot. Maybe I'm grabbing them and I can just jam this when I hit them, okay? It's important to know the different grips. The way I'm going to teach this grip right now is your right hand is going to get the dominating longest reach, okay? I, I will say give yourself about a two-finger grip or maybe a one-inch grip. This is a great start, starting grip for everybody to use, and then you can have your own preference. Hey, if you, you understand the art and you start to express yourself and you prefer a certain grip, use it, okay? So we're here. When I switch my grip to the other side, I think about it like a baseball bat, okay? That I want two hands on, then I will let go. Yeah, now I've got a lot of puño on this side, okay? But that's okay, I could readjust. If I have to fight this grip, I might readjust it a little bit while I'm still defending myself. I'm gonna talk about why this is important, okay? When I'm in my standard grip, if I'm striking and I go to swing and you smash my knuckle in the middle of this tournament or it's a fight, okay? What I don't want to do is throw the stick using the same grip into the hand while I'm stressed because it's likely I will fumble and chase that weapon, therefore exposing myself. Why not just keep the grip and hand it off while you get the pain off of this hand and then you can still defend yourself as long as you train the left side of your body. If you didn't train the left side, yeah, good luck. We'll talk about that next, why we do double stick drills. Make sure you're training the other side of the body. Okay, so as I'm striking through and I'm doing my X pattern, I wanna talk about how I switch the weapon. So as I'm here, I switch. And it's okay to slow down a little bit. Put two hands on. So finish your strike, I'm here. As I'm recovering, strike, 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 strike as I'm recovering. So I can choose to do all the switches on my right side. Or I can say, I will do it on the dominating side of that strike. So now I'm over here. So everything will kind of be a backhand as a pickup. So the dominating hand was my right, I'm switching on my right. My dominating hand is my left, I switch on my left. Notice how this little area of my grip is always meant for the right hand. This upper area is meant for my left hand. This is basic baseball bat stick switching is what we'll call it. So if I'm working a drill, I want to switch sides. Switch sides. And it's okay if you have a pause in the beginning. Okay, but at least you're learning how to switch the weapon, okay? Again, if I get my hand hit, and we'll talk about this in the partner drill, we'll, we'll add to this video that well, I want to be able to switch. And I'll use a kind of a funny explanation for that. The second switch I want to talk about, okay, and this works when this is a stick, not a sword, okay? is opposite end switching, okay? And if you notice, I pretty much get the same reach on either side as I'm looking for that one inch grip so that I have better articulation, better grip. You know, um, if you start with no puño and you're swinging and your hands are getting sweaty, you'll start to lose the weapon. So give yourself a little bit of room. This is my preference, okay? So if I'm striking and I go here, I can switch. I just hand it to the other hand and start striking. I can strike as I hit through on the opposite side, just lift it up and then start striking on the other side. 
and hit through, lift up, and strike. So I'm just handing it off to the other side. Okay. So if I, again, show that five count drill that I did, one, two, three, four, five, I hit, turn. One, two, three, four, five, I hit and pull back. One, two, three, four, five, reach. One, two, three, four, five, switch back. We call it the opposite end grip switch. Okay, again, if it is a sword, not going to work for me. One, two, three, four, five, uh, it doesn't look like that great of an idea, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, in this case, if I was using a sword, I would have to do like the baseball bat switch. I want two hands on. Don't just throw it as a fancy fighter, one hand to the other, okay? <laughs> it looks great in movies. In real life, blood, sweat, maybe tears are causing us to, you know, you, you to lose your grip on the weapon. So, um, you know, it's best to put two hands on and then you can switch, okay? And if, if this is not your most talented hand and you're able to alleviate the pain, come back to your main grip and, and fight back there again, okay? But it's great for building your dexterity. If you didn't bring enough sticks, <laughs> uh, and I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit, but uh, you know, you're, you didn't bring two sticks for training and you're doing double stick drills, you might have to think about how to improvise and switch with the other stick in order to keep the flow going. So, uh, or, you know, just change the drills up a little bit, okay? But stick switching, I have a lot more. Those are two basic ones that are functional and can help keep your weapon uh, defenses moving while you're uh, recovering from the injury. Okay, stick switching and how that looks when we're training with a partner. Okay, so again, I talked about if your hand gets hit, what you're going to do when I'm actually switching the weapon to the other side, okay? If we were doing a drill like um, uno, dos, cuatro, okay? And we're doing angle one, two, and four from the Lameco system. So some people will say it's a high, low, high. Good. And let's say on that third beat, she actually scored on my hand. Let's say it was a sparring match. One, two, and very slowly she's gonna touch my hand. Bam! Now she wants to start back on the uno dos cuatro again. I have to switch weapons. Same drill. Same pattern. One, two, three. Because all I'm trying to do is block, block, and maybe hit her hand this time, okay, on that next uh, trade. Um, it's just the ability to get the weapon back to the other side. So let's look at this one more time. Uno dos cuatro. So high, low. That time she hits the hand. Now the swing is coming back in. I have to block it block and block. So I might have a few cycles where I'm doing this and shaking off the damage and then I can go back. Good. Okay, you see I was able to transition using the baseball bat switch. All right, so now let's do the uh, opposite end switch, okay? So when we're here, is that a reverse switcher right there? So you see, I used both of them at the last point of that drill because, again, I don't know if at any point she can hit my hand on the first beat, bang, and now she wants to go in the low shot. I need the block, and then she wants to hit the head. I need the block, okay? Once I recover, maybe now this hand got hit, well, then I guess I'm out of luck. But if she hit, maybe it was a lefty versus righty if we started this drill. One, two, now she hits the hand this time, then I have to switch it back to this side, or if I was a lefty, now I become the righty to follow this pattern. It's a pattern drill to help you learn weapon switching. Most importantly, you're building dexterity, okay? When you get a little more clever with this material, you will be deceptive, okay? You will start to fake people out. They don't know where you're going. And just as a little bonus, okay, when she swings at angle one and I block it, 
you're going to see us switch the weapon in order to get certain disarms and positioning manipulations, locks, throws, things like that. Uh, it's a higher level in the art. Definitely very developmental. Um, a bonus if you could pull it off in any fight, but most importantly, it's fun for me to train, and that's why I do all this stuff in the first place. I have fun, okay? So you should have fun too. Work these drills. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I will give you additional drills or hopefully answer your questions. Thanks.